Oh, it says my connection is weak. Hi, guys. Okay. Let me get up here really quick. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to hop on. I'm trying to be really quiet because um, my daughter is, I just put my daughter to bed. So I just wanted to hop on here and I look horrible right now. So excuse the way that I, I'm looking. I'm about to go to bed in a little bit. Um, I wanted to hop on here really quick. I'm going to pray first. Um and tell y'all about the dream that I had last night, um, which I believe it was another confirmation dream of how close Jesus really is. And just some things that the Lord has put upon my heart. He had me jot them down to talk about really quick. I'm going to try to make it quick. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Hi, Travis. <laughs> how are you? God bless you. Okay. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to be used as a vessel um, for your words and for whatever you have to say to all of us, Lord. And Father, I just, I apply the blood. I plead the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, over this message and over my mouth, Lord. Let these words be your words. Let it be nothing but the truth and everything, everything that you want to say, Holy Spirit. I pray that you will touch people's hearts that whoever watches this video, whether it's right Right now or sometime in the future I pray father God that you will touch hearts I pray that you will open eyes and ears spiritually to hear and see what you have to show and tell us Lord I pray father that you will give knowledge and wisdom and understanding and revelation on what you are trying to tell each and every one of us father and I just thank you and I give you all the glory and the honor and the praise and I worship you Jesus in Jesus name I pray amen okay guys so I want to just really quick get to my dream um, and so, okay, l let me say a little something really quick. So I have asked the Lord when his, when his coming gets really near, um, to please show me like dream white, whatever it may be. Um, and I used to pray to have rapture dreams all the time. I've received in the past, let me see four or five, about four years, the last four years, I've probably received, um, maybe two rapture dreams in total. Maybe I think it was two, but one really big one. And then not counting the one that I had. When did I have this dream? That was not even a week ago where I saw Jesus coming in the clouds and, um, and I saw all the horses coming and he told me I needed to repent all this kind of stuff. So anyways, uh, last night and I was so upset because I, my daughter sleeps with me in the bed. So like she kind of moves and she kicks me, right? So I'll wake up and it's like, I'll pop out of the dream, but sometimes I'll go right back into the dream. Um, Yes, you're on chapter 21 in Enoch. Yay! I'm almost done. Where is... Oh, it's downstairs, My the book. I, I need... It's hard for me to find time to read it, but yes, the book of Enoch is a wonderful book. But anyways, okay. So, um, last night I was dreaming and it started off... And I know that dreams have different meanings. So, it started off where I was in this mall, okay? I, I say it was a mall because that's what I relate it to, but it was huge. And my coworker, Lisa, um, which I told today, she thought maybe it could be our mansions but I don't really get that feeling so I remember kind of seeing like other stores but there wasn't a whole lot of people in the mall at all it was like you know I remember the big escalator like these stairs going up like you would see in a mall and um we were shopping I Lisa my co-worker was with me she also is a very devout Christian um and loves the Lord so she was with me and we were shopping like like for a wedding like you know um like uh, the reception or the big party after you get married, you know, and um, you throw the big reception or whatever. And we were, oh my gosh, guys, it was these beautiful tables, these long tables that were set up and they had the prettiest like plate settings and shiny silverware and these glass, like um, these just glasses. And it was just so pretty. Like it, I, when I woke up from the dream, what I got is that the Lord was letting me know that everything is ready. That's what I got the interpretation from the Holy Spirit, that everything is ready for the wedding supper of the lamb. Like all that he's, all we're waiting on is for father God to tell Jesus to come and get us. So I saw all these beautiful um, tables and it's like we were shopping. And I, rem I remember specifically in the dream when I was with my coworker, Lisa, and there was some other person there, but I don't know if it was the person showing us around, but we were shopping for a wedding. Like we were trying to buy decorations and all the preparations for the wedding or the reception for the wedding. So the wedding feast, get it? Wedding feast. So anyways, I go the next part of the dream, I go, my coworker, I don't know where she went, but I go down like the escalator. I'm in the bottom part of the mall and there's several people around, but it's not like really busy. And all of a sudden I start yelling and I go, I go, 
I got to start preaching. I got to start preaching right now. I need to preach. So I don't know what the Lord was telling me with that. Maybe he's wanting me to warn like what I have been doing, getting out more warnings. But anyways, and then the dream shifted, right? And this is the best way that I can describe it. I was back in like the old timey days, like when Jesus was alive. And you know, like in the in the movie, The Passion of the Christ, how, you know, or how it says in the Bible that Jesus will be, he was walking and there would be these crowds of people all around him, you know, like the lady, you know, um, with the issue of blood, she, you know, she could only touch his garment because he was so, so many people were around him as he was walking and teaching and healing people. So that's what it was. I saw, it was like, I was back in like these, like in, in Israel, I was in like these hilly areas and Oh my goodness. And I saw in my spirit, I didn't see him. Like I saw him from afar off, but I didn't get to see how he looked up face to face. And I'm so upset. But in my spirit, I knew that it was Jesus and all like, cause I saw like a white, like a white robe or a white, he stood out cause he was wearing white and all the other people were like crowding and they were coming around this mountain, you know, like there was a road, like a dirt road and they were coming around like these hills and mountain. And I'm like, Oh my goodness. And as he was getting closer, I couldn't see him because all I knew it was Jesus because all I did in the dream, as soon as he was getting close, I fell down. I mean, prostrate on the ground. And I was like, um, I was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Lord God. And I was, I was bowing down in worship to him. I couldn't even lift up my face to see him. And this is a short dream, by the way. And the next, and the next thing that I see in my dream, this is like the best part is there's this like, I don't want to call it a billboard. It, okay. So imagine like a chalkboard, but it's black and it, 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 it kind of looked like a book, like a huge book. But anyways, written in really beautiful white chalk. I don't know if it was white chalk or pen or whatever it was, but it was so pretty. And it was big and it was in this beautiful cursive writing and it was huge. And on here it said, Jesus is coming and I remember and after that my daughter like kind of hit me and I woke up in the middle of the night and I'm like oh my goodness I'm like so I just feel that that's the dream but anyways I believe it was a warning because um I you know I had the dream not even a week ago I saw Jesus coming on the clouds with all these horses and I saw on this little plate where um it said there's like this writing like I saw it's like the same writing that I'm seeing in each of my dreams but it was on like this little knickknack plate and it said get rid of everything now for when the trumpet blows there will be no more time and I immediately started repenting when I heard when I saw Jesus coming on the clouds when the clouds like parted and he was coming in all his glory and I just immediately dropped to my knees and there's something that I forgot I left out for those of you who paid attention or lit watched my last video about um about uh, my first my uh, my other rapture dream that happened a week ago I left out this important part okay oh, I don't have it because it's in my room and my daughter's in there sleeping but I have a biblical I have a biblical dream book it's all based on scripture okay that this this Christian lady did and I have a thousand there's a thousand dream symbols in that book now I have had dreams of horses and it says in that dream book a white horse means Christ's return. But every time that I see a white horse in my dream over the past like couple months or the past couple years, it would be a big, beautiful, like white stallion, you know, like it was, and I knew that Jesus was telling me he was getting, he was coming, he's coming, like it's, it's time for his return. But in the dream that I had last, um, a couple days ago, last week, when I saw him coming on the cause at the very end of the dream, there's this little, I turn around, I, I told y'all I was in like this shoe store and I was looking out the window and I saw Jesus come. Well, I turn around and this, I left this part out and I forgot about it. This little white horse comes, comes, I don't even know how he got in the store, comes walking in and I'm like, and when I woke up, I'm like, well, I know a white horse means Christ's return, but I'm like, why a little, it was like a little pony, like a little bit bigger than that. It was so cute. And, and the Holy Spirit put upon me, like I was seeing this huge, big horse, but now I'm seeing this little white horse, meaning that is how close, how short, like little meaning not much time. Like that is a little horse because it was representing there's little time because a white horse means Christ return. So very little time with, um, for before Jesus comes back. And I was like, Oh my goodness. So the Lord will speak to you and really, you gotta, you gotta really seek. I'm gonna sit down really quick. 
you got to seek um, the Holy Spirit when you get dreams because he'll speak to you in weird ways and you'll totally miss some things of what he's trying to tell you. But when I saw in my dream last night that big billboard and it just was so pretty in big letter, it says Jesus is coming. Guys, I know that he is coming and I know, don't get me wrong, I thought... I thought that the rapture was going to happen every year for the past four years. And I, and I honestly, when the blood moons happened, we all know about the blood moons um, between 2014 and 2015. There was two in that year and two in 2015. Um, I believe that the Lord, uh, so many saints were praying for the lost. I was one of them asking for more time.